Hey there, I'm Andrew Doyle and I am a teacher and campus minister at Aquinas High School and a liturgical musician for the Diocese of San Bernardino. Today we have some great stories to dig into, the first of which is the faithfulness of God's people even in the hands of King Nebuchadnezzar. As Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego are called to worship at the idol set up by the king, they refuse, saying they will only worship God. Nebuchadnezzar threatens to throw them into the furnace if they do not comply. And when they again refuse, his anger is so great, he has the furnace heated seven times the normal heat, which was already a furnace, so that's saying something. When the men of God go in, they are unharmed. And it appears to the king that there is another man inside with them, one whom looks like a son of God. This miracle speaks to the faith those men had, not only that God would keep them safe, but also that he was right there, walking among them and beside them through it all. Theirs is an amazing story, but how often do we feel that God does less than that for us? We may not find ourselves being questioned in front of a powerful foreign ruler or threatened with death if we choose God, but that is still something that happens throughout the world. Do we ourselves believe as much as those who are at such risk? Does our faith need that test, that trial by fire, to feel real? Sometimes in life it can feel like our decisions and actions do not lead to much because it seems the stakes aren't that high in every day-to-day -day choice, we may choose poorly. Jesus tells us in the gospel today, however, that these decisions all add up. They influence our character as well as our spiritual journey. As he tells those Jews who had begun to believe in him, if you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. It is up to us, then, if we claim to be followers and believers of Jesus, of God, to make decisions based and rooted in that faith. Anything less than that is a temptation of sin, an invitation to burn in the furnace of white-hot flames. But as we know, we need not fear even that, because God is always by our side, keeping us safe from harm. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for always walking with us, even when times are tough. We ask you today to let us feel your presence, to help guide us along the path that leads to you. Fortify us against the threats and harms we encounter, both spiritual and physical. We ask all this in the name of Jesus Christ, your truth. Amen. Amen.